So today I will be demonstrating my skincare routine um, and this is what I do to get ready in the morning. So um, my skin gets a little bit dry um, when I first wake up. Um, so I just use the milk cleanser which has purified seawater which is skin calming um, as well as camphor. Uh, and it's also fortified with the antioxidant Brassica oleracea, um, also known as Laricia. So I don't need very much of that. And uh, this is just to dissolve the layer of oil, grime that has settled on my skin overnight. And it's an emulsion, so there's really no foaming at all. And then with a moist cotton pad, I just wipe off. And as you can see, I'm instantly more radiant. Now the key thing about cleansing in the morning is that while you want to feel fresh, um, you don't want to dehydrate your skin because uh, we live in a tropical climate and for those of us who have combination skin and I have combination skin, uh, my T-zone for example tends to produce a bit more oil and when um, the weather is humid uh, and my skin is cleansed squeaky clean in the morning, what happens is that we tend to get this thing called reactive seborrhea where I find that I produce paradoxically even more oil over my T-zone. So so this sort of cleansing routine in the morning helps to maintain a moisturizing layer, also known as a humectin, that forms the base of my makeup. So now that my skin is clean, I want to go on to show you guys step two, which is the silk peel. I use this as a microdermabrasion tool at home. Uh, when I don't have time for a medical facial in my clinic, which takes up to half an hour, and I get to do this every day. So I'm just going to demonstrate how I use the acne uh, solution. The base of this is polyglutamic acid. So just give a gentle pat, about one drop over all my acne prone areas. Polyglutamic acid is four to five times more effective than hyaluronic acid in terms of its humectant properties, but um, it's not as widely used simply because of the high cost of the ingredient. But it forms the base of our um, antioxidant serums and um, is perfect for this silk peel regimen. So then the skin brightening uh, solution that contains the yeast extract. So again, pat it over my problem areas, okay, where I want my skin to appear brighter. And then, so I used to get quite a bit of um, outdoor sun exposure. I mean, I was always wearing sunscreen, but it's always good to um, include a little bit of uh, antioxidant boost in your skincare regimen and this contains the um, Centella Asiatica extract for skin lightening and for scars. So as you can see, my complexion already appears brighter. Um, we've not used the silk peel yet, but this is essentially the um, Medi facial solution that we are incorporating in a home facial treatment regimen. So you do see a little bit of the red marks, but that's normal. So there's some parts of your face that will be more sensitive. So my recommendation is to just to move quickly. You shouldn't skip the um, antioxidant serum step. Now, a lot of people think that um, you should use these devices to remove your blackheads and your whiteheads. Well, um, the silk peel is not designed for that. Those um, devices tend to exert a lot of pressure and it's, it doesn't help in the treatment of blackheads, which are a form of acne known as open comedones. 
uh, rub it, it just physically removes it at that point of time and very soon you find that the, um, the debris, uh, the uh, dead skin and the uh, dirt accumulates in the surface of skin again, it gets oxidized and that's why it turns black. Uh, this on the other hand employs the principle of vacuum microdermabrasion to increase the absorption of the uh, topicals that's applied. So this is based off the principle of plant polysaccharides that increase the absorption of cosmeceuticals when applied over skin. So um, they essentially form little micro reservoirs um, of the cosmeceuticals when it's applied on your skin. And it's very, very effective. We are able to assess the skin's hydration levels with a independent um, biocapacitance uh, skin analyzer and you'll find that there is an increase in the skin moisture levels. So I use it with the amino acid mask. So the amino acid mask is part of uh, my home masking regimen that uses the polysaccharide material. Um, it contains high doses of sodium ascorbyl phosphate, also known as vitamin C, as well as the start ingredient, La Rivisha Brassica oleracea, um, and a bunch of amino acids, which function as natural moisturizing factors. So I have the mask on now, it's the gel mask formula and that's when I'm going to retrieve the ice cold polysaccharide mask that has been reconstituted. I use distilled water just to maintain the purity of the, um, the face mask. Um, there are no additives in this mask and unlike the one time use facial mask that um, are truly quite um, you know, ecologically unfriendly because there's just so much waste. So with the amino acid mask on, I'm just gonna wear this. Okay, and honestly, it's a hot morning. So this feels super, super luxurious on my skin, okay? I leave it on for about 15 minutes and during this time I check on my emails and reply messages to get ready for my day. Alright, so time's up and I am ready to remove the mask. I give the mask a rinse. And then I put it back in the um, mask bar in the ice water because I plan to use it again in the evening. So now I wash off the mask. cotton pad uh, as opposed to wiping off with a towel so if you are using a towel just make sure that it's super super soft and fine so those made of microfiber are better um, at uh, reducing the friction between the material and your skin right but uh, for me a, a soft cotton pad is uh, the most gentle on my skin So now I'm moving on to the serums. This is 1% HA uh, that is multi-molecular weighted. Um, it's superior to the monomolecular weighted hyaluronic acid serums um, in terms of clinical efficacy as well as its absorption rate. And the uh, vitamin C serum I use is non-sensitizing. It's a neutral molecule. 
sodium ascorbyl phosphate as opposed to L-ascorbic acid which is commonly used in cosmeceutical formulas. So this is suitable for individuals with some sensitivity, uh, eczema as well as uh, skin conditions such as uh, rosacea and acne. Emulsion is my go-to day moisturizer. It contains amino acids for antioxidant repair, um, a little peptides as well as niacinamide for the brightening effect. Now, um, I highly recommend emulsion formulas which are oil and water uh, in the daytime, especially in a humid tropical climate like Singapore, because it can otherwise get quite uncomfortable, especially if you're wearing a mask. 